been in a council property, you do get stereotyped. And it's a case of, well, it's council property, why should I bother? There's still that sense of pride that I want to have in my neighbourhood, in where I live. Um, and to make that happen, it's like somebody's got to take sort of that first step. Over the lockdown, I wanted something for the children, so I contacted the council. They have got a neighbourhood project team and we put some planters in. So we decided last August to actually get all the residents involved. We've done some weeding, we got them planting fruit, vegetables, herbs, and some painting of some bug hotels and uh, bird boxes. We've done some litter picking and again it's showing them if you've dropped your litter we need you to pick it up. We've been able to get some wildflower seeds and we've done a bit of a snake path where we wanted to plant some wildflowers. So again it just looks nice for, for the residents and for them really to take pride in where they live. It's nice to see the children getting involved because they're our next generation and for them to know where your fruit and veg, where it comes from, it's not off a supermarket shelf. It's like, you know, for them to get involved and just take some ownership as well. We wouldn't have been able to do the event today if it hadn't been for the Knott's Wildlife Trust. They've helped to fund us for us to um, get gardening equipment, to um, get in some of the plants and the seeds for us to use and they've also worked in collaboration obviously with Nottingham City Council and also Wix. So if you are a council tenant you can go to your local council authority, they will probably have a team there that would be able to help. It's good for them and obviously it's good for us, it's good for the environment to just try and bring this wildlife and just make it a nicer, better place, yeah. We've been here 10 years and you're in your own little bubble where you, you go about your own business and then obviously getting to know my neighbours now from these events, we've got more close so I can then go to them and say, we need numbers, please come and help. So, and it's, it's through them really that, you know, has is, is made it happen because otherwise, you know, it would be just a, a lonely old woman just trying to do. <laughs> trying to make a difference but instead it's actually the community that's come together to make that difference. <laughs>